Fellow Kenyans. Hogamiya haka hulela ya hogaminta Kenya. Uhuru kinyata. Otobanki sana ya gudambe ya imamula ya dalkani da abari ga qara da Afrika. Aya mudadair kadib. Awa so saare farrenu muqata. Inu uga halla yo. Hanan ki so gaba gaba bay e dora shoyin ka dalkani Kenya. Labada kun labaya labatanka. Taas. O gal da awadayet ke da maanta ay so xertay. Mahkamad da sara e dalkani Kenya. Exercising its jurisdiction pursuant to these provisions, the court sits as an election court with a mandate to determine the variety. It is clear to us that the jurisdiction of the court is quite circumscribed in terms of the orders or reliefs it can grant following the hearing and determination of the election petition under Article 140 of the Constitution. محکمه داد دستوری که کنیا ایا مانت سر رسمی او گود واقع دی شرعی هنچیها نتیجه دی ای هری او گود واقع این گودی که دور شوین که قرن کنی کنیا تاسی او ای کو علام دیان گوش هجامیت ای ویلیام سامای روتو کاسی او نگن دونه هجامیها شنت سنت ای ساس عت ای دل کنی کنیا مدحوین او هرو کنیاتا او قصر که مدح توی دا کلها لی ور به انتا ايا سو ساري فرين تتن كو سعوتا كينيان كدل كيسا كرا حالي مرحالة ديه دل كا دورا شو ينكي ديرا ايا قوان كا محكمة دا Fellow Kenyans On the 9th of August of 2022 Kenyans participated in an election that ushered in new leaders at all levels of our governance realm. Uh, following a dispute in the presidential election, a petition was filed in our Supreme Court for determination of validity of the results, and the Supreme Court has today pronounced itself on this matter. When I was sworn in as your president, I made a pledge to the country, a pledge to uphold the rule of law and the decisions made by the judiciary on all matters appertaining to our governance. Today, the Supreme Court made a ruling on the presidential dispute, upholding the results announced by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission on the 15th of August, 2022. And in keeping to the pledge that I made to uphold the rule of law when I took the oath of office, I commit to executing the orders of this court to the letter. The process of handing over is in progress through the Assumption of Office Committee which actually has already begun its work as of August 10th, 2022. And indeed, it is my intention to oversee a smooth transition to the next administration and all the necessary orders to facilitate this process have already been issued. And because democracy is a work in progress, I urge the country to respect the institutions that midwife our new leaders. And in doing so, I also urge citizens to constantly put them under scrutiny for this is the civic duty of every single Kenyan. 
In particular, this civic duty requires every citizen to constantly put the truth presented by our constitutional institutions to test. And they must test them for coherence, but also for correspondence. They must constantly scrutinize the coherence of the truth given by these institutions and to ask themselves whether the truth has been coherent from one election to another. Has there been a consistent pattern that is acceptable to our democratic ethos? Idrus Mahamoud Iman Urarkaartian Nairobi.